Previously on the KLX, we dealt with the handling ergonomic issues. Our Boyson shock out, fast flex bars, pro wheels, Kenda tires, TCR wheel lacing hubs, our RK X-ring chain, and our WER steering damper. Today, we're gonna to try and do some wrenching to get some horsepower out of this baby. Now, the most important thing is you have to be organized when you're working on your bike. Take a look at the fasteners as they're coming out, the O-rings, collars, See what kind of fastener it is so you know where to put it back in. We're taking our plastic off today to gain access to the exhaust and the carburetor. We're going to be pulling some ponies out of this thing with a nice muzzy performance exhaust and a J&D jetting jet kit. We're also going to be using our Fast 3 filter, pre-oiled, no mess, no more oil in your carburetor because you over-oiled, no more flat spots because you under-oiled, no more mess, Put an old one right back in the bag, zip lock it up, and in the trash. This bike is dynoed at 17 horsepower. We're gonna hope to get at least three or four more horsepower out of that. Doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're starting with 17 horsepower, you'll take whatever you can get. Take the exhaust stud nuts off. The pipe collar should come back easily. Now on our exhaust, we have it loose at the head, we have it loose at the junction, and we have one bolt left that's still loose. Make sure you're clear here. So when you get to the last bolt, you get yourself ready. Here it comes. A little twist, and we're free. Muzzy's high performance tuned stage pipe, much more attractive. Now they usually come in several sections, so we're gonna lay it out next to the bike as we see it's gonna go on. Before you put it on, check out where your mounting tabs are so you already have it pre-planned for a spot where that's gonna need to fit. We're gonna put our exhaust head pipe on and we're gonna put the the flange back up against the head, and we're gonna hand tighten our exhaust nuts. Only a couple turns, because we wanna have a little bit of movement to fit the rest of the pipe in. It's very important that you have the pipe fully flush against the gasket in your head. Hand tighten them only a couple turns, and then we'll come back here to the rest of the exhaust, and we'll start lining it up. Now we've got our exhaust on here loosely, we're gonna put our canister on. We slide it on, check its fit, check the alignment with the mounting hole, check our clearances, make sure the exhaust isn't resting against your air box or any frame. We don't want any rattles, we don't want any wear. Check it out, nothing's hitting, everything's clear. You wanna remember, this is a dirt bike. It's gonna be under extreme conditions, so we wanna make sure nothing's rubbing because it'll be a hole before you know it. Have all your mounting bolts in, hand tight, and we start at the head. Nothing seems to be distressed, nothing seems to be out of place. We can go ahead and tighten up the next mounting bolts. Start from front to back. You really do not want to start your bike up with the new pipe on unless you have your jet kit properly installed and your air filter properly installed. Lift off our tank. Be sure to take note of all the hoses. We're clear. The manufacturer of this jet kit and the pipe recommend two and a half turns out. All right, now let's get at those jets. Here's our main jet, this is our intermediate jet, this is our primary jet. We're going up from a factory 118 jet to a 130 main jet that will fatten it up just right to complement our muzzy exhaust and our fast three filter. The last link in our chain of performance is No Toil Industries pre-oiled air filter. And here we are with our finished product, our fully modified KLX. Lots of performance products packed into this baby, including our XGX graphics kit. And a little bit later on, we'll be tearing it up in the dirt and on the dyno.
Okay, today's hot gear, Trailtech's new vapor computer, perfect for your enduro or your dual sport conversion. It has a speedometer in miles per hour, kilometers per hour, tachometer, temperature sensor, RPM, clock, and air temperature, distance ridden. Fantastic product, comes complete with all instructions and everything needed to install it. Here's Hoyt's new ride along helmet cam. High resolution, durable design and build, lightweight, easy to use, compatible with most consumer cameras out there. And this is one that we use on our show, so we know it works. And now from PivotWorks, their fast, easy, and complete fork seal kit exceeds OEM specifications, and they make them for virtually every bike out there. So when you go to your dealer to get your fork seals, ask for PivotWorks. Thanks so much for tuning in to Dirt Bike Television. Be sure to check us out online at dirtbiketelevision.com. See you next time. The tachometer, temperature sensor, air temperature, and many other functions that you'll never ever use. I can't say that. Premiercross.com. Bloop, 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 bloop. Compatible with most consumer products out there. Nah, that sucked.